Welcome to Reeducated TV, where we keep you informed. Today, we will be taking a look at Menu, who was also a representation of Buddha. There were several representations of Buddha. Buddha himself was the first representation of the sun. In previous lessons, I had mentioned that there were several menus, Moses, Josephs, and so forth, and all represented the sun. I know some people might be saying, how can you have 14 Buddhas and 10 incarnations of Buddha? Krishna came after Buddha. When the sun cycle changed from Taurus to Aries, Krishna is also a Buddha or the Buddha. So it has a lot to do with the cycle of the Neros or the sun cycle. There was a cycle of 14 and there was also a cycle of 10. In fact, there are several cycles. We will get into the reading of the cycle of the Neros in the near future. Today's topic is Menu, Sir William Jones on Menu. And it says, in the Hindu mythology, we meet with a very important personage called Menu. He is allowed to be identical with Buddha and with the sun and to be surnamed son of the self-existent or in other words, son of God. The word Menu signifies mind or understanding and is closely connected with the idea of wisdom. It is, in short, but another epithet for Buddha. This root is closely allied to the root MNR, whence comes the Minerva of the Greeks and the English word man and the Latin words men's mind to remember and the Sanskrit man or men to think. I am of opinion that the Numa of the Romans, the legislator who had the mystical surname of P. Ampilius, was a Menu corrupted. Read from right to left, it is Manu right so in the ancient indus there was or is a important personage called menu who is allowed to be identical to buddha and the son who is said to be the son of the self-existent or son of god we see that menu signifies mind understanding the wisdom that was formed who is nothing but the buddha no out of the Chaldea and Hebrew MNR came the words or names Minerva of the Greeks. In English, it means man, and in Latin, men's mind, to remember, and the Sanskrit men or man, to think. It is also believed that the Manu was corrupted to the Numa of the Romans, the legislator who also had the name of P. Ampilius. When read from right to left, you get Manu. Reading from right to left was the customs in ancient times. Menu meaning mind or soul or spirit. Every incarnation was a Menu or a manifestation of the divine mind. This was the same as divine wisdom. To this divine mind or wisdom, the priest most discreetly attributed their codes of law. Thus, Menes in Egypt gave the first laws. And Minos, the son of Jupiter, Io, and the beautiful Io, was the first legislator of Crete. From the second syllable of the word Menu, the Greek word Nag has been thought to be derived. The heretical Jews worship the planetary bodies under the name of Mani or Menai, which means the disposers or placers in order. In the Hindu system, there are said to have been 14 menus, the last of whom finished with the flood, or the same person is said to have appeared many times. He is attended by seven companions who are called Rashis or Raishis, before explained, but evidently the five planets, the earth and the moon. Menu was maintained by Sir W. Jones to be the NH, or as we call him, the Noah of Genesis. This is strongly supported by the fact that it is said in Genesis chapter 8 verses 13 in the 601st year of Noah's life, in the first month, the first day of the month, 
the waters were dried up from the earth. Here is evidently the cycle of the Nero's, ending with the drying of the waters and beginning anew. Here are the ending of one year or life of Menu or Buddha and the beginning of a new one. The intimate connection between Minerva and Buddha as wisdom and mind I need not point out. On this word or person, Mr. Faber says, the import of the Greek word naus and of the Sanskrit menu is precisely the same. Each denotes mind or intelligence and to the latter of okay so buddha was the first razit the wisdom that was formed the divine mind the name razit was also given to the first book of wisdom menu also means mind or soul or spirit every incarnation of buddha was a menu or every menu was a buddha no to this divine mind or divine wisdom the priests attributed their codes of law. Thus in Egypt, Menes was said to give the first law. Minos of Crete was said to be the son of Jupiter, Aya, and the beautiful Ayo was the first legislator of Crete. The Greeks also had a menu. The heretical Jews worshipped the planetary bodies under the name of Menai, or many which means the disposers of placers in order. They mentioned that in the Hindu systems there were 14 menus, which means the same person appeared 14 times. But remember, menu is the sun, so the sun appeared 14 times. It is also said in the Hindu systems that menu is attended by seven companions who are called Rashis or Raishis, who are nothing but the five planets, the earth and the moon. Sir W. Jones maintains that the Hebrew No or NH is the Noah of Genesis. In Genesis chapter 8 verse 13 where it says, In the 601st year of Noah's life, in the first month, the first day of the month, the waters were dried up from the earth. This is nothing but the cycle of the Neros, where you have a cycle of 600 and also a cycle of 6,000. The ending of the cycle of 600 is considered the beginning of a new. In other words, the ending of one year of life of Menu or Buddha and the beginning of a new one. I would hope that some of us don't actually believe that the characters of the Bible lived up to 900 years as written in the scriptures. Let's continue. And to the latter of them, the Latin mens is evidently very nearly allied. Or to speak more properly, mens and menu, perhaps also our English mind, are fundamentally one and the same word. After the gods, Diodorus makes the first king of Egypt, Menas or Menes, to reign at Thebes, not at Memphis. The latter was a modern city compared with the former. Thus, Menes is found as first king of Thebes and at Memphis in Crete by the name Minos and in India as Menu, the Mendes or Pan of Egypt, may mean the divine mind, in fact, the holy mind or ghost. Menu is also shown by various writers to be the sun, and in this respect, the same as Buddha. All these Hindu persons, like the different gods of the Western nations, resolve themselves at last into the sun. Of the Theban kings, Erastosthenes says, the first who reigned was Menes, the Thibetanite, the Thibian, which is by interpretation Dionysus. The second was called by interpretation Hermogenes or Hermogenes, that is, begotten of Hermes. Mr. Faber correctly observes that the menu of the Hindus is the Mahabad or great Buddha of the Buddhists. He has the same history, but applies to the one with very little variation, applies to the other. There were 14 Mahabads, as there were 14 menus in the desire of Moshani or Moshanai, 14 Mahabads are treated of. 
These were the imaginary persons of whom Sir William Jones made a dynasty of kings. So there is a connection between Minerva and Buddha as wisdom and mind. The Greek word naos and the Sanskrit word men are the same. Both means mind or intelligence and the Latin word mens and the English word mind are fundamentally one and the same word. In the mythos, Menu is said to be the first king of Egypt called Menas or Menes, who, it is said, reigned at Thebes and later Memphis, as Thebes was a ancient city and the city of Memphis came after. In Crete, he was known as Minos and in the Indus as Menu, as I have mentioned. The Mendes or Pan of Egypt means the divine mind or the holy mind or ghost. Many writers show that Menu is the sun and remember that he is also the Buddha. All the Hindu persons and all the gods of the western nations represent the sun. So the first king of Thebes was said to be Menes or Minas, the Thibetanite or Thibian, interpreted as Dionysus. The second that reigned was called Hermogenes or Hermogenes, that is the begotten of Hermes. No, of the Hindus is the Mahabad or great Buddha of the Buddhists. They have the same history and obviously the same. There were 14 Mahabads as there were 14 Menus. The 14 Buddhas or Menus who were imaginary persons were made to be a dynasty of kings. They were not real persons and therefore could not have been real kings. I have already shown you some of those personages such as Menon, Solomon and so on. In future lessons we will look at Samson and Hercules also. Mr. Faber has very successfully proved that Buddha and Zoroaster are the star of the bull as he explains the word are the same person, the same as the menu of the Kusas of Iran or the Chusas of Iran. He says the early worship therefore of Iran according to the Zendavesta was the worship of Buddha or the tat under the form of a bull compounded with the human form. In Persia, they had five Zoroasters. These were but renewed incarnations of the Tauric God. In short, I believe the word menu had the same meaning originally as Razit, wisdom, that it was the same as the Mount of Meru and that Meru and Menu were mere dialectic variation. In this, I am supported by Monsignor La Lavere, who states that Maria and Mania are written and used indiscriminately in the Siamese language, and this fact, when it is considered that the whole Eastern mythos was removed to the West, justifies a suspicion that along with the others came the Oriental Il Avrata, or Mount of Meru, and that we have it in the mount now called Baris, and Armenia, that is Ar or Ermenia, the country of Mount Meru or Menai. The Mount Baris is the Mount of Naubanda. Dr. Jones says, a structure of any sort, a boat or barge, the Mount of Naubanda in the Indian language is said to mean ship cabled mount. To this mount in the flood of Noah, the ark was said to be fastened. The word Nau is the Latin Navis and the Greek Naug and the word Band is a common English word for a cord or cable. The expression Mount Meru or Menu means the Mount of Meru. In Hebrew language, when a word is in regimen, in many cases it can only be known by the context, whether it be in the nominative or genitive case. The words for Mount Meru and Mount or Meru would be the same. This, if the Hebrew or any language like the Hebrew were the original language, readily accounts for the names of many places. If Manes, 
the son of Budwas, the son of Thomas, of whom we. So here they mention that Buddha and Zarista are the star of the bull, are the same person, the same as the menu of Iran, which was the worship of Buddha or Tat under the form of a bull, or both human and bull. They mentioned that the Persians had five Zoroasters, which were the renewed incarnations of the Tauric god, and also thought to be the same as the Meru. Menu and Meru were dialect variations. An example was given where the names of Maria and Mania are written and used indiscriminately in the Siamese language. It is a fact that the Eastern mythos was taken to the West or removed to the West. Thus, you have the same names of places such as Mount Meru, Sion, and so on. In the mount now called Baris and Armenia, which is Ermenia, the country of Mount Meru or Menai. Now, in the Indian language, Nua Banda means ship cabled mount. This mount in the flood of Noah the ark was fastened. The Latin word Nau is navis and the Greek Nau and the word band is a common English word for a cord or cable as we already know. So Mount Meru or Mount Menu means the Mount of Meru. In Hebrew Mount Meru and Mount of Meru are the same and account for names such as Mount Sion, which means Mount of Sion or Mount of Peace. Menu was said to be the son of Budwas, the son of Thomas, who is said to be really a man and had his name from Menu. When it was said that his doctrines were those of Menu, it was meant that they were the doctrines of teachings of the incarnation of wisdom. The word for moon is also the same as Menu, so it is hard to know which Menu the ancient authors speak of Menu of the sun or Menu of the moon. Let's continue, of whom we shall hereafter have much that is very extraordinary to offer, were really a man, he had his name from Menu, and when his doctrines were said to be those of Menes, it was meant that they were the doctrines of the incarnate wisdom. In consequence of the word for moon, Emar or Mer being the same as the name of the Menu of India, I cannot show example of him very clearly in the West, because the two names are to be confounded. That is almost impossible, in most cases, to be certain of which the ancient author is treating. But Arian has observed that the Mount of Meru was known to the Greeks and was sacred to Bacchus. In Genesis chapter 5 verse 29, it is said that Noah had his name of N.H. or Nu in Hamenu, because he shall comfort us or because he shall cause to rest. Now I think these explanations of the name of the man, the grand point of whose life was the ruin of a world by floods and winds, are both ridiculous and only prove that the meaning of the word of this half lost language is unknown under all the circumstances i have a suspicion that there is here a mistake between the letter e in he and the letter h in heth and that the word inh followed by the word menu meant menu shall lead or precede we have already seen that Noah and Menu were the same. Thus we find that in the western as well as in the eastern part of Asia, there was a Menu and each was saved in an ark from a flood. The letter H and the letter E are often substituted for each other in the Hebrew as they are in the Greek. In Genesis chapter 9 verses 20, Noah is called by Moses. That is the husband of the earth, thus Saturn was the husband of Rhea. I shall have more to say on the meaning of the word menu hereafter. So in Genesis chapter 5 verse 29, it is said that Noah had his name in H or in Hemenu, 
because he shall comfort us or because he shall cause the rest. They mentioned that the name of Noah in Menu, the explanation of its definition and the flood that destroyed the world are both ridiculous and proves that the true meaning of Noah's name in Menu and the half lost language is unknown. They also mentioned that the word could possibly mean Menu shall lead or precede. We have already established that Menu and Noah were the same. Thus a Menu can be found in Western and as well as Eastern Asia and each were saved in an ark from a flood. In Genesis chapter 9 verse 20, Noah is called Moses that is the husband of the earth thus saturn was the husband of rhea that's it for today thanks for watching see you soon take care